Do any of you guys remember the first YouTube boxing video that you watched on YouTube? Do you even remember the channel that maybe turned you on to boxing if you were a newcomer to boxing? What channel turned you on to the sport and really kept you interested? I bring this up because I want to talk about a channel today that I started out watching and was one of the first boxing YouTube videos that I saw. And that's coming from one of my favorite channels of all time, Boxing Legend. Nine times out of ten, if you're a boxing fan, you have seen one of this guy's videos. His videos are very entertaining. They're very informative. They're very good to watch, you know. And this is before I even thought about making a YouTube channel. I actually never really thought about making a YouTube channel. I actually fell into it by accident. It was never my design. But anyways, as I got into making videos, Boxing Legends was always one of those channels that I looked up to and that I wanted to take something from, you know, when I started making videos, the people that I looked up to or that I wanted my channel to replicate or be like was Boxing Legends, uh, Moda Video, Mo no, Moda, Moda Media, uh, Rummy's Corner, um, The Modern Martial Artist, and Hatman. Okay. So I wanted my videos to be visually good, like Moda Media and Boxing Legends. And I wanted the commentary to be good, like Rummy's Corner and Hatman. Those were the channels that I looked at. And I looked up to and I borrowed something from and I took from all these guys and I combined all the elements in which I like the most about their channel. But Boxing Legends was definitely the first on the list. I just thought he had an amazing channel. And um, over the years, you know, I watched all his videos several times. All his videos have like a million plus, you know, what I'm saying he got a million plus subscribers and everything. His videos is just great. But every periodically, I would check back in on the channel because maybe I wasn't getting a notification just to see if he uploaded, you know, and just out the blue, he just stopped uploading. Then it's no more. All this great content that he has. Like I said, I guarantee you he has a video that you've seen or is put in your favorites as far as your list of favorites on YouTube. I guarantee you, you got a boxing legend video in there. And he just stopped uploading out the blue and I didn't understand it. I was like, man, he has a great channel. Like, what happened to this guy? Like, why don't he upload? I even checked in the day, you know what I'm saying, to see, hey, maybe he put something out. But in four years, no videos. And that's because I was late to the party of finding out what actually happened to Boxing Legends. And it was all familiar to me. Boxing Legends had his channel um, terminated demonetize or whatever you want to call it and he put out a tweet saying why and he said he got an email from one of the big corporations you know what i'm saying one of the big corporations in boxing and it threatens his entire channel so for a minute he had to take all his videos down you know and he also goes on to say he said you know it's interesting I'm probably one of the only boxing channels on YouTube that follows all the guidelines, yet they're always messing with me. And he goes on to talk about how he grew a subscriber base that was bigger than Showtime, PBC, and Sky, Sky Sports all combined. You know what I'm saying? He did better numbers than the big wigs. You know? And this is the last I heard of it. Then after that, it was just no more videos. Why do I bring this up? Because this is something that even on my small level, I have experience with. And it has happened to me. And it leads me to believe that YouTube works as nothing but a German shepherd for big companies who don't want you to do as well as them. Or who don't want you to spread a certain message or have an opinion about something. And I say that because do you know how much boxing legends contributed to the sport of boxing and people picking up the sport of boxing 
or staying in tune or connected with the sport of boxing, it helps out the sport a lot. Channels like this help the sport. It doesn't hurt the sport. Yet channels like this is the ones that they attack the most, that these companies go after, almost as if they're anti-boxing themselves. And it just leads me to believe that maybe YouTube works as a go-between or almost as a German shepherd or a guard dog who can get paid off or maybe even suggested whatever they take to do what they do. Because as we all can admit, a lot of the stuff that they do is uncalled for. It's not just. You can follow the community guidelines. You'll end up with some kind of strike or something like that or 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 this will happen to your channel, but you're following all the rules. Now, I'm somebody who had to go through a lot as far as my channel goes. So I understood the community guidelines and what I can do and what I can't do. I understand that very well. But yet and still, I still have instances where my channel comes up for review. Uh, videos get randomly removed. I don't get any comment or anything from YouTube telling me why it was removed or the fact that they didn't even remove it. But I bring up Boxing Legends to show that you could be a great boxing channel. You could have great content. Your content can help promote and build the sport. If the big wigs don't like what you're doing, you're not going to be there. And that brings into question, is YouTube just a tool that could be used for people who are in a higher situation in a bigger tax bracket to use to control the smaller classes of people who have an audience as far as YouTube goes? And I believe 100% that is so, because once again, how could you not like Boxing Legends, you know? And why would you threaten a channel that helps build the sport, that'll help promote a fight when it's coming up, that'll help give people history about uh, a sport that little, almost nobody really knows nothing about, about how it really works. So it's all beneficial in a sport of boxing. It scratches everybody back. But it's these promotional companies are the only one who looks at the YouTuber as far as talking about boxing as somewhat the enemy if they can't get you to get in bed with them or follow the script that they want you to follow. If they can't control you, then they don't want you there. And that only leads me to believe that YouTube is nothing but a gun for hire because if it is not so, how can somebody follow the community guidelines? Um, They directly express and show that whatever they are adding to the 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 media file that they are uploading whatever they are adding to their video as far as to break down whatever it is that they're talking about wherever it is that, that they're adding they're they're showing that they're adding their own unique flavor to it they're adding their own unique um messages and educational uh outlook to the video once again it does nothing but go full circle and help boxing but i've learned if you talk a certain way they're not going to want you around or in boxing legends case if you're doing better than them if you're more successful than them if you're able to pull more views than their streaming platform they're also not going to want you there. And like I said, this is something that I experienced myself. Uh, this is something that I heard of on Hatman's channel where he broke down the story of how, you know, you got the channel Hatman Returns. And it was the same thing. Some big wig or some big promotional company didn't like what Hatman was saying. And he got his channel shut down. Uh, they didn't like how well. Uh, boxing legends was doing you know what i'm saying and they came after him and got his channel shut down to the point he doesn't even upload videos anymore and i was just thinking about how sad that is because i would love to watch one of his videos right now and here it is four years later and he hasn't uploaded again so sometimes when you see people pick up and then they take off and then they're no longer here they get disenchanted 
And I and I guarantee you the box of legends got disenchanted. And then he said, what's the point? And for a person to make that good, you know, that great material like that, you know, what I'm saying videos that you can watch over and over and over again. It's really sad when that person doesn't want to even go back to the lab and produce content for something that they was obviously passionate about. Because some of the big wigs that was above him got jealous of the attention that he was able to generate off his own hard work. And I just have to ask YouTube, what are you doing? What are you doing? Because I miss this channel and I would love to see him upload it again. But I know why in five years he hasn't.